Hello, everyone. My name is Elvin Kibet, and I'm a public health major. Thank you, for, thank you for giving me this opportunity to share some of my experiences as a wildcat. It's such, a, it's such an honor. My journey started in 2010 when Coach James Lee came on a recruiting trip to Kenya. I was among the few girls who competed in the 3,000 meters. Having only trained a few, for a few months, I definitely didn't run a great time. Running 11 minutes for the 3K was not enough to get, to get me to such a big school like U of A. However, it took Coach Lee a great deal of faith in me, and he finally decided to bring me to join the Wildcat family. <coughs> when I received the invitation and the news that I was being given a full scholarship at U of A, I was more than thrilled. I was very excited, and I promised my coach that I was going to work hard and try to give back to this program that gave me a lifetime chance to better my life. We, are, we all like being comfortable, and leaving our comfort zones is something that we all struggle with. However, we need to get out of our comfort zone sometimes to achieve greatness. I remember the day I waved my family and friends goodbye. It was not easy considering that I had never left my hometown before. Flying was just unimaginable, not to mention flying alone all the way from Africa to America. I was about to start a journey to a foreign country where I didn't know anyone. As scary as it was, I was full of determination, faith, and hope, and I believed that whatever was lying ahead of me was something that I would never regret. I was not afraid to get out of my comfort zones in order to be better. Immediately I landed, I was welcomed by amazing coaches and teammates, and I felt at home. Adjusting from a village environment where there are no big roads, no cars, no electricity, no pipe water, to a city life full of technology was not easy. However, I'm very grateful to have had teammates who cared for me, supported me, and were willing to help me to adjust to the new culture. Teammates that accepted me the way I was, even when I couldn't tell them apart. <laughs> <laughs> For, for some reason, they all looked alike, right? <laughs> right now, when I think back, I can't stop laughing at myself because I know Hannah does not look anything like Megan or Maggie. I, I am so thankful to have had this these girls who helped me with basic things that facilitated my adjustment, such as learning how to operate a computer, how to ride a bike, how to use a microwave and a washing machine, how to get groceries, and other basic things. I also had an opportunity to work with some of the most amazing coaches in the world. I was very fortunate to work with Coach Lee, who has stood by me through times of happiness and sadness. He has molded me into a better athlete than I can say I am today, and also a better person. Yeah, he motivates me in training and inspires me in so many ways. His patience and faith in me constantly encourages me to push harder in training even when things don't seem promising. Using English language on a daily basis was something that I, I, I had to get used to because back, back home we rarely spoke English. My professors were very helpful and willing to help me to understand the class material, and they were also flexible to accommodate me when I missed classes during competition times. Despite the challenges, I managed to be one of the top students in all my classes throughout the last five years. I am also thankful for the tutors, academic advisors, academic counselors, and other great academic resources that we get as student athletes. I would urge you student athletes to take advantage of the resources that we get here because I can for sure say from experience that they are very useful. We have no excuses for lagging behind in class because we have all what we need to, to succeed in every class. Lastly, I want to say that I am and will forever be a wildcat. Thank you for having me. It's been the best five years of my life and without this opportunity, I would, I would just be another village girl trying to survive. I'm going to miss everything about U of A, Mikhail, my teammates, and my coaches. Good luck to those who are graduating. And for those who are remaining, remember to never settle for average. Don't be afraid to get out of your comfort zones. You have so much incredible potential on the inside. Keep reaching for the stars. We are wildcats, and bear down is what we do best. Thank you. Thank you.